Okay, you're getting ready to do a sword demonstration, I understand. And exactly what are you going to do here today? My name is Charles Anderson. We represent the 18th century sword masters. This is a profession that taught everybody the art of, doing, of using swords because everyone had to need it. It was a necessary skill. What we'll do for you is a demonstration of fencing as it really is, not what you've seen before. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to equip everyone here with a sword. We'll not let them face off against each other, but we'll allow them to learn the basics of fencing. You're going to find it's a lot of fun. Wow, great. Look forward to it. Yes. The gentry, the people with money, the ones who have the time and the money to our services to learn the small sword. We'll get into what different kinds of swords there are in just a moment. We also taught other kinds of swords. Henry, my, my assistant here, is going to show you one of the swords that we teach. This is called a hanger. It's a small weapon, about 26 inches in length, single-edged, and is more or less a military weapon, but it's also a very good weapon for those people who do not have the time and the money to learn the small sword. It also, during the upcoming hostilities of the Revolutionary War, will become the standard sidearm of enlisted uh, non-coms and junior officers. Senior officers will have one a bit longer, but that's mostly for ceremony. They weren't hardly ever used by then. Another kind of weapon, just as most people know how to ride, drive a car now. You had the choice, if you were in the militia, and everybody had to be from age 16 to age 48, of either becoming a member of a troop of horse or being an infantryman. And everybody, I think, would rather ride than walk, so I think there were a great many troops of horse, maybe more than we needed. In any case, one of the things they would have to purchase is one of these. This is a cavalry saber. As you can see, it's got a strong curve in it and a single sharp edge. And it's got a point on it, but the point is sort of academic in this case. You're going to find out when you learn something about swords is the only way you can effectively use the point of your sword is if you can control the distance between you and your adversary. We have two men on horseback. Who's controlling the distance? The horses. So, since we cannot do any thrusting with this point, we might as well have a really good cutting weapon, and that's what the curve does. A curved blade simply cuts better. Also, for a man on horseback, it's a lot easier to draw because of the curved shape. It takes about four hours to learn to use either that weapon or this one. Now, remember, this is mostly for military use anyway, and this is the time, as all wars are, that when they finally come, there's no time for training. It's already too late to put in those six years it takes to learn effective swordsmanship. But this is something we do on contract and make a good bit of money out of.